Hey everybody, my name is Colin Slaap, watchmaker from the Netherlands. And the radiation in vintage watches, in the luminous paste in watch hands, on watch dials, is it that serious and dangerous? Yes, it is. Um, in a freak course of circumstances, um, my previous job in the mid-90s, I spent five years on oil rigs making uh, x-rays of welding. <laughs> I just found the, the safety log and uh, I don't recognize this guy, but maybe you do. <laughs> There's even a more horrible picture. Well. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I spent some, <laughs> I saved some money on shampoo. Um, to get this job, I had to be a radiation expert, uh, get a diploma, uh, Veiligheid 5A, Stralingveiligheid. So um, I know a bit about radiation. And I want to talk you through it. What part of the luminous paste is not too good for your health? And uh, what to look for? Because we get some calls from, uh, well, clients and collectors who are worried. Um, they hear a lot of about horror stories about uh, radiation. And we must be practical about it and not to worry too much because luminous paint in watch hands on watch dials simply to radiate light when it's dark to make it easier to read on your watch they used several pastes to do that that is uh, tritium radium many more and now uh, for the last, well, at least, I think 15 years, but it can be longer. It's a non-radioactive luminous paste. Um, so it is really a problem of vintage watches. First, the paste itself. It is really radioactive. The radiation is. Uh, we did some tests with the Geiger counter, but there is more to the story and I hope I can uh, um, help you um, well, get your worry away. The problem was more well, serious uh, in the pocket watch era and that is for two reasons, simple reasons. Radiation has got a half time, so the more time uh, uh, spent, the less radioactive one gets. And in pocket watches, there is so much more radiate of paste needed in the hands, so a lot more paste, a lot more radiation. So in wristwatches, it, the problem isn't that. Well, well, serious, but not that, that, that pronounced. Because luminous paint is radioactive and there are two components. Three, alpha radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation. Three completely different beasts, but we have to treat it with respect. Alpha radiation doesn't go through a piece of paper. So it is contained in your watch, on your dial, underneath your crystal. Um, and it is only really dangerous when it's in dust form. And then you can inhale it because it doesn't go through a piece of paper, but in the surrounding cells in your lungs or if you have a cut in your finger it is really dangerous then beta radiation doesn't go through your clothing and there is gamma radiation and that goes straight through you 
but there is background radiation right now so you, we are bombarded with gamma radiation and if you are a regular flyer the higher you go in the atmosphere uh, the less um, particles in the air so the radiation when you're flying is so much more serious than here so if you just fly a few times a year you probably get more radiation than just your watch but there is more to it if the luminous paste is in the hands or on dots on your dial it is contained uh, in the adhesive so what we do is try to contain that luminous paste and that is simply by applying um, translucent um, varnish then you conserve the existing luminous paste in your hands or in the dots and because as we just discussed alpha radiation when it's in dust particles and then gets into your lungs and gets into your fingers that is serious but if it's just contained in one place in the uh, translucent nail varnish um, it doesn't get airborne and there's no problem then whatsoever so the dust from your watch hands and on your watch dial that is really serious I know some uh, watchmakers who are um, doing the disassembly some spray it with a bit of water I don't like that too much because of the dial some do it in a piece of plastic a plastic bag and then do the uh, uh, disassembly uh, so it's contained um, there is no wrong or right well if it feels for you the best then it is the best but the particles the airborne particles that is the serious stuff don't worry too much about the gamma radiation going straight through you because the half time is a long time ago and it is everywhere so not uh, to worry too much in short luminous paste is re can be really radioactive but you need a geiger counter to uh, to do that um, we tried some uh, apps but it simply doesn't work but a geiger counter is uh, really affordable uh, online now always be aware that the dust particles is the really dangerous bit of the luminescent paint paste um, but if it's in a contained environment your crystal is okay uh, there's a huge half time even if your um, hands and dial are radioactive we don't know that for sure so yes we do have to take it serious we have to treat it with respect but don't get overboard uh, it isn't take it with respect but don't let it influence your life or uh, 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 reduce the joy in your collection because if it's contained it is really not that hugely dangerous as some people say on uh, internet fora maybe you heard this uh, before uh, I did some of this information in a um, restoration video on watch hands but because we got some uh, phone calls from collectors I thought why not contain the uh, information uh, comprehensively like this well my name is Carl Slaap watchmaker from the Netherlands if you like uh, watchmaking videos and collecting vintage watches videos please have a look at our YouTube channel Chrono Glide and um, every Tuesday half past eight Central European time we are uh, live and you can watch with me 
through my microscope while we do uh, watch restoration. And if you're into vintage watches, it is really nice to see and I talk you step by step through a watch and why it is magical and beautiful, all the mechanical watches. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon. See ya. Bye bye.